Howdy, y'all. This is He Who Cracks the Packs, which is to say, Uncle Roundy. And last time, I was probably responsible for several thousand dollars worth of medical bills due to eardrum damage. But today, we have a Kaldheim set booster. What better way to bring ourselves back down to Earth than to open a set booster from what has been, so far, a pretty underwhelming set. We've had a few good hits out of it. Um, I have had some good hits with it off camera mostly, but we haven't really found yet the good cards out of it. So we're going to open a Kaldheim set booster, as is the way. It is the current standard set, so you're going to see me buying quite a bit of it at the moment. That's quite enough in my hand you've got there. Okay, all right. We do not have a list card in the back slot, but we do have a giant wizard token. Now that is a wizard who is a giant. The token itself is not gigantic. This is not to scale, probably. So we're going to turn this around and get ourselves... Is there a... There's just a lot going on here. There's not actually a signature on here. I had to look for a second, make sure there wasn't a signature on this art card, though. It is quite, quite the piece of artwork there. That is a... What is that art? That is Starnheim Unleashed. That is a mythic. Uh, let's get a... Get a little bit better view there. Starnheim Unleashed by Johannes Voss, number 8 of 81. I promise I will try to figure out a way to do fixed focus with this soon. I know it's probably annoying some of y'all. But here we have our Snowland today is a basic forest. Quite a nice little understated piece of artwork there. It is an Adam Paquette piece of art, so you know it's going to be quality. What's the color of our commons today? We're going to be seeing probably a bunch of green commons here. Ravenous Lindworm. When it enters the battlefield, you gain four life. Uh, does It should seemingly be more ravenous, though. It's it's definitely chasing after those deer, but, you know. Oh, deer. Arachnoform. Kind of a kind of a spider. Turn your creature into a spider, basically. Plus two, plus two. Has reach and is every creature type. Well, a little more than a spider, I guess. You got your Ice High Troll here. It can become indestructible and be tapped. Broken Wings, that's a pretty solid little common. First appeared in Zendikar Rising. I think I've talked about that previously. Not Vold Recluse. Now, here's an actual spider, as opposed to, you know, Arachno forming it into a spider changeling, which those do exist. Fearless Pup, one red. The Fearless Pup found its way into the pack again. Huh, that, ha that has happened before. I think it happened in the last Kaldheim set booster we opened, actually. It, uh, a bunch of... Bunch of one color, and then all of a sudden, Fearless Pup howling his way, awooing his way into the into the foreground here. And now we're on to, looks like our uncommon slots. Morit of the Frost, blue, blue, green, plus two, a legendary shapeshifter, a zero, zero changeling. It can enter the battlefield as a copy of a permanent you control, except it's legendary and snow in addition to its other types. And if it's a creature, it enters with two additional plus one, plus one counters on it, and has changeling. That is a... There's a lot to take in there. Let's see what else we got. Ice Bind Pillar. A snow artifact for blue plus two. I don't think I've seen this one yet. Sn one snowman and tap. Tap target artifact or creature. Hey, all right. Sounds very good. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay. Ooh, Mystic Reflection. That's a pretty good hit, actually, for a rare here. Uh, for at least one rare. Uh, blue plus one instant. Choose target non-legendary creature. The next time one or more creatures or planeswalkers enter the battlefield this turn, they enter as copies of the chosen creature. And you can foretell that, baby, as well. It makes it cost a little more, but for that effect, that is very much worth it, I think. That's a pretty good hit for this set. I'm I'm going to be pretty happy with that. I've been, I've been kind of uh, mildly chasing that one. Not too upset if I don't get it, but uh, we're going to keep on trucking here. I think we may have at least... We got quite a few cards left. We may run into at least one more rare. We've got Sculptor of Winter. Uh, this is probably some wild card slot. Green plus one. Tap. Untap target. Snowland. Elves are pretty good about that kind of thing, I would say. And our foil. We're on to the foil. We only had the one rare, but it was a good one. Death Knell Berserker. Black plus one. A 2-2 two -two Elf Berserker. When it dies, if its power was three or greater, create a 2-2 two -two Black Zombie Berserker. Creature token. So you would have to buff it in order to get that token. And in the back, we have an add slash giant wizard token. But yeah, 
So, yeah, I would say we did pretty good here. I mean, nothing is really going to be a foil vampiric tutor, obviously. I mean, if we had hit Vorinclex, maybe. I didn't see that happening, though. But uh, I'm not going to be too upset about this rare. This is a pretty solid one for this set. I think we may have... I don't know if it's gone down or what, but I think we may have uh, made our money back with this pack. So... I'm not going to complain. It's Kaldheim. And uh, Diamond Hands are even extending to subpar sets like this lately. Yes, I do consider Kaldheim kind of a subpar set. Unless you really like playing with Snowlands and Snow Permanents, in which case uh, you're probably having a field day. But uh, Mystic Reflection, I'm pretty happy with this rare. We're going to call that a day here. And I will see you guys uh, next time. We're, we're cooling off, looks like, in terms of luck. It was just banger after banger after banger there for a minute, but still, uh, even so, even with a little cooldown here today, not too bad. I am happy with the Mystic Reflection. See you guys.